There's been this great resurgence in vibrancy in our city, especially in our downtown, to the point where I think it's, it's as vibrant, if not more vibrant, than it was before the recession. What's happened recently, especially with Fredericksburg Main Street, is that downtown has gotten more cohesive and collaborative and more fun. The goal is to bring everybody to the table. And some are unexpected, you never know who you're bringing to the table. But it's always asking, how can we do this bigger and better? She actually hooked me up with five different people on Main Street. And my students went out and did, you know, kind of a deep dive into where the buildings came from. And even some of them went further than just the building and what the, you know, what the land was before that. Main Street Fredericksburg gives us the perfect opportunity um, to showcase the talent of those students, but also to be able to benefit the business community through their work. Obviously, the professors and their students today are of enormous help for us. They serve as interns, they do projects for us, they do e their the classes in economics, have done some studies for us. Communities benefit from a flow between a college campus and a town. Professors and staff who work on a campus can help soften the edge between the suspended reality of a campus and the future life beyond it. The University of Mary Washington student knows when they come here that part of their experience is to integrate in a community. And for the University of Mary Washington, we actually are part of Main Street. We're down here in the heart of the town where all the vibrancy is. Uh, our students, they live, work, play, and then they study in, in, in this laboratory, if you will. It's transformational for them to work um, together as a group, you know, in general, and they understand one another better. But I also find that they understand themselves better, you know, kind of what their strengths and weaknesses are and how the group dynamic, how they can help that. And I find that while doing that in the classroom um, is important and certainly is helpful, when, it, when we go into the field and we're actually at a place, um, there's something special that happens when everybody's kind of on a level playing ground and they're surrounded by what it is that they're studying and trying to dive into. We have three members of our current city council who are University of Mary Washington graduates. It was Mary Washington College when they graduated who stayed here, came here from somewhere else, stayed in the community, and are vital parts of the community today. And that's just one example. I have a, one of a college professor that does a marketing class, and they come and do a, a project from my shop. And I think it's, it's fantastic for them, and it's fantastic for me because it's giving me information that otherwise I wouldn't have. We've had a few classes do projects specifically on Agora. Um, the first one was a commercial, um, the second one was like an evaluation, and, and it's real exciting to see the business through their eyes and you know what input they might have and, and how they view Agora by creating these commercials and, and what they kind of point out and what they highlight. It's, it's been a lot of fun to, to do that. And we've also had the opportunity to speak at, a, at one of the classes um, a little while ago too about um, you know, business logistics and then how to run a cafe, which is a lot of fun. We have just begun a peak sales uh, study for downtown merchants, which will actually enable them to better forecast what their revenues will look like moving forward and how they can anticipate things and perform even better. One of our visions of Agora was we wanted to become a gathering place. We wanted to be um, helping out with the community as much as possible. We wanted to use the coffee shop as a platform for reaching out to people and bringing people together. Getting to know each other as, as human beings, I think, is important. You know, so it's uh, you, know, you establish relationships beyond just work uh, is important. When when conflict comes up, you you know you know the person that you're talking to, and um, and so I think a lot of it is just relationship building and um, open lines of communication. The first thing that we really tried to do was get out and meet our other business partners because we knew we knew our limitations. We knew we couldn't do it by ourselves. And so we started seeking out other people that could kind of help us uh, float. I have run businesses for other people, but never for myself. I worked very closely with some of the people that were just helping me out. Our role is to start the conversation. And how we do that is by asking people what they think and what's going on and then listening and then trying to see how can we each bring our best to the table. The first conversation we have with people is often the hardest one to have. 
the discussion of what is meaningful to us, but the goal of mutual understanding is a powerful starting point. I try to say, well, let's figure out a way to do this. And I think a lot of people do get that stigma that if the government, it's no, 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 and it's not. Like, we're, it's okay, like, we can figure out a way to make this work. And I know I try really hard to do that. So when somebody wanders in the city of Fredericksburg and says, I want to start a business, they usually say, well, why don't you go talk to Susan and Brian over at the SBDC and work on your business plan and get some help that way. So we have all the economic development offices help us. And then when they have programs, we support them and we go out and talk to them. We also have relationships with bankers and they do support for us. And we work with the, their clients to write the business plan. We're working on a partnership with the local library now where we'll do some programming um, and coffee chats, business chats with coffee actually, in their locations. And so we work very well with our partners in our local community. We do. We have used uh, the University of Mary Washington uh, to help us when we get started, just really from that subject matter expertise standpoint. Um, we've worked with uh, EDA and EDT. Really, We work a lot with Main Street. Um, I'm on the board of directors for Main Street, but I found Main Street because we were looking for some business advice. And so just like working with your other businesses, you realize really quickly you can't do it on your own, even right. though you think you have all the skills. There's always something that pops up that you need some support with. And luckily for us here in Fredericksburg, there's support everywhere you turn. We also try to reach out to the community um, by being involved with a lot of local entrepreneurs. You see in our front room, we have a big local wear section, and we have over a hundred different local artists, artisans, musicians, and authors represented there. The camaraderie, first of all, that comes with, you know, doing things together, you know, partnering with each other's businesses, um, it's good for individuals, and it's good for the whole town. And it's been such an interesting thing. We're approaching our fourth year in business. In just the past couple of weeks, we had a major incident here in Fredericksburg with a downtown flood that was pretty traumatic for a business on the river, like ours. And I mean, the second that the warning started going out, business owners from all over downtown descended on, on our business. And they were like, let us help you move. What do we need to move? You know, and they're rolling up their sleeves. And I think we realized, we had always known it, but I think we realized in that moment downtown's here for us, just like we're here for them. We're helping each other out as much as we can because it's only good business for all of us. If we all do things together, the more people come. The great thing about partnering with other businesses downtown is that it raises the whole community up. And, you know, customers and, and community members see that. They see the collaborations and it just makes Fredericksburg feel even more, more homey. And it's fun being creative. <laughs>